it's been about six years since I've been on an R1 and I'm ready for my first ride here. We have four miles on the odometer, so we're gonna go through and just break this in. We're not gonna go do anything silly today. Not that we would anyway. like that I mean it this thing is awesome I love this quick shifter I'm not gonna lie I got it set on two and that's for just like low to half throttle the manual says you don't want to go over 7,000 rpm so we're not we're not gonna go over 7,000 just kind of break it in man it feels good to be back on this R1 baby love it gonna vary the engine speed here too the guy at the dealership said you know these are brand brand new tires we just got a little bit of rain so we want to we want to kind of work these tires in a little bit get that material ready to go so we're just gonna do a nice little easy ride today my old bike I had a 14 R1 I bought brand new poor baby I'm sorry had a 2014 Yamaha R1 did a little work to it I wish I would have kept it I sold it because I wanted a Jeep which was stupid because my wife already had a Jeep so I sold the R1 I get a Jeep I hate it I sell it I rode Harleys for a little while thought I was gonna get into Harleys and no, my heart, my soul is with the R1. So that's why I went and bought this guy here. It was uh, paid 21,000 out the door. That's the OTD price, out the door price. That's with tax, title, and license, setup fees, shipping, all that great stuff. Man, this bike, it just, the note on it sounds amazing. Man, that's, I can't believe it. It just gives me chills. I just, I don't know what I was doing. I don't, I don't know why I sold my first one, but I'm glad I bought this one. I, I love it. I freaking love it. My gosh. Quick shifter works down too. You can downshift here. This cheap knockoff eBay exhaust that I paid about two fifty for. God, no! Oh. That acceleration is silly. Man, it's beautiful out this morning. Got a little rain down here. Hasn't really rained in probably two months roads might be just a little bit slippery so we're gonna take it easy today so after I sold my R1 the 2014 rode Harleys for a little bit and absolutely hated the Sportsters I mean they just were so uncomfortable and so I decided well I wanted to get another 1000 I said do I want to get a BMW? Do I want to get a Jixxer? Do I want a Kawasaki? So I looked at some reviews on YouTube and I 
just uh, I gravitated back to this cross plane. When I first bought my R1, I wasn't really sure if I liked the cross plane or not. And when I realized I did like the cross plane, I love the way it sounds. It was a no-brainer. It was it was time to buy a brand new 23R1. I'm glad I did. This bike is it's amazing. I'm just I'm overwhelmed right now. I just I, I don't know what to say about it. It's it does rake forward a little bit. It does give you a lot of a lot of rake here. I will need to drop that about an inch. and set that quick shifter to one or two I got it set on two two means you can do like low to mid throttle quick shifts if you set it on one that's more of like your wide open throttle but since we're just kind of breaking in the motor today look at that we're up to 12 miles watch out <laughs> manual says we need to go 600 do an oil change and then turn around and do another 400 and then at a thousand miles It'll be fully broken in, so we want to make sure that we try to stay within that 7,000 range. And I don't think I'll have a problem doing that. <laughs> Man, it's smooth. It's the throttle response is nice. I can sit here one-handed. Got a little few bumps in the road. I don't have to worry about that throttle blipping and accelerating crazy. What do you guys think about the R1 sound? You like it? You hate it? Are you more of like a traditional inline four kind of person? Dog. The suspension is tight on this bike, I will tell you, it's very bumpy. Need to do a little bit of research on how to maybe soften that up a little bit. It might drop that tail maybe a little bit, I don't know. If you, if you have any experience on making the ride a little bit more comfortable on adjusting the shock system on these bikes, please drop a comment down there. I'd love to hear what you did and what the uh, results were that you got. Of course, I had my blinker on like an idiot. I'm excited to be back on two wheels. Oh shoot, we got a little, got a little grass runner. Come on, baby. That's what I like to call a CBR on four legs. I can definitely feel my, my hands going to sleep. And we've only gone 19 miles at a pretty low rate of speed. Give the people what they want. Mm. Yep, I'm definitely gonna have to lower this sucker. I can barely even touch. On one leg. God, what happened? Why'd they make them so tall? All right, here we go. We're gonna do a quick shift from first to sixth. And we're only gonna go up to about 7,000 RPMs. Perfect. Well, maybe not. <laughs> All righty, come on, car. amazing a million times I don't I, until you experience it which I've never experienced a quick shifter before it just it literally gives me chills I, I it's it's a beautiful experience and the sound the way that exhaust is kind of bah, 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 it just golly I'm digging this bike I'm digging this bike Is there a longevity concern I have to worry about with the clutch? Or is it meant to be used on a regular basis depending on the setting you have? I'd love to hear y'all's comments on that. Any feedback on 
Yeah, you should use it. No, you shouldn't. When you should. Give me some details on that, please. I feel like a kid in a candy store with that thing. My gosh. Got a couple of old vehicles going to the Gator Fest. Yeah, buddy. Well, I stopped here to take a few pictures. I can tell you I'm definitely winded. My shoulders are... They're a little sore, but they're they're not like on fire fire yet. I am a little older. I have been trying to get back in shape a little bit. Lost about six pounds. Been running, trying to get my mile down to to a reasonable time, so I'm not winded like this. But this, since this is my first ride, I think I'm doing all right. And I will tell you, that friction zone is way out there on that clutch. And I don't know if it's just because of the new exhaust I put on there and that servo motor is not putting that back pressure to the clutch plates. I don't know what it is, but... If that's... Is that normal? Please let me know. Like I said, it's been a minute. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned.